The Jayhawk Trioval system is the most accurate bowling ball drilling machine on the market. This system allows for all three holes to be drilled without removing the ball from the jig, resulting with all pitches being on the same pitch plane and the most repeatable feel from ball to ball. This video is a short demonstration of how to drill a ball using the trioval system. The trioval jig is very simple to use. Place the ball in the jig so that the center of grip is in line with the chuck. Then place the top plate on the ball and secure it down with the two large red knobs. Once secured, place the first hole drill bit in the keyless chuck. Once locked securely, lower the drill bit down and lock it into place. Loosen both black handles and rock the ball front and back to ensure the center line is parallel to the drill bit. Now it's time to put the pitches in for the first hole. This first hole requires 5 eighths right and 1 quarter reverse pitch. Once the pitches are set, loosen the black handle and rotate the jig to our first hole. Loosen the front red knob and rotate the jig left and right to line up the drill bit with our bridge cut line. Lock the front red knob and rotate the drill bit to our span cut line. Once you have your drill bit lined up and both black handles are tight, it's time to drill the first hole. Drilling is very straightforward. First, you'll want to cut into the ball until you've hit both of your cut lines. Once you have confirmed this, you can continue drilling the hole. While drilling, it's important to go down in quarter inch increments to ensure the drill bit stays cool. This will help preserve the life of your bit. Once the first hole is drilled, we change out the drill bit. In this case, the same size bit is used for both fingers. Second, we will adjust the pitches to an eighth reversed and an eighth left pitch for this customer's middle finger hole. Third, we will line up the drill bit with our bridge cut line and span cut line the same way we did for the first hole by loosening the front red knob for our bridge cut line and the two black handles for the span cut line. Once both lines are lined up, lock the black handles in place and drill the second finger hole. The same drilling procedure will be used for this hole by cutting into the ball until you've hit both your cut lines. Once you have confirmed this, you can continue drilling the hole in a quarter inch increments until the desired depth is met. Once both fingers are drilled, it is time to drill the thumb hole. The first step is to change out the drill bit to the proper thumb size bit. Then change the pitches to the customer's chart. In this case, we are using 0 left right pitch and 3 8 reverse pitch. Lower the bit so it is just above the ball and loosen the two black handles to allow the jig to pivot to the thumb area and slightly tighten one black handle to hold it in position. Loosen the front red knob and line up the bit to your center line and retighten the front red knob. Make sure you are hitting your thumb span line and lock both black handles. This thumb hole requires an oval cut. The first step is to push the linear button key and put in the starting thumb pitch. We will be cutting three holes including the original hole. 30 thousandths is the maximum cut we want to cut at one time, and this hole will be at 45 degrees. When drilling the thumb hole, cut into the ball first to see that you are splitting the center line. Then drill down till you hit the span cut line. Once confirmed, continue drilling to the desired thumb depth. Once you have drilled the first hole and turned off the machine, push the next hole button on the digital display and move the X and Y axis to zero. Redrill down till you touch the bottom of the thumb hole. Remember to keep the trioval jig locked during the whole ovaling process. Once the second cut is made, push the next hole button on the display. Move both the X and Y axis to zero and prepare to drill your final ovaling cut. Notice in the upper right hand corner of the display that this is cut 3 of 3.
Once the third cut is made, push the next hole button and bring both the X and Y axis back to zero. Press end and notice that you will be back to your starting thumb pitch. The drilling process is now complete. Remove the drill bit and place it back into the drill bit holder. Bring both the X and Y axis back to zero. Pivot the jig so it is back to a level position and remove the ball. The trioval system is now back to its starting position and ready for the next bowling ball. The accuracy and reproducibility of the Jayhawk trioval system make it the best bowling ball drilling machine on the market. For more information about the Jayhawk trioval system, visit shop.jayhawkbowling.com or give our friendly staff a call with any questions regarding the trioval system.